an exciting example of the interdisciplinary approach to research has mammoth implications. Just consider the work of Dr. Stefan Schuster, professor of biochemistry and molecular biology, and Dr. Webb Miller, professor of biology and computer science and engineering. Their work is linked to the past, but may unlock the knowledge that will protect today's endangered species. Time magazine recently listed both among the world's 100 most influential people. We read the genome sequence of the woolly mammoth. First time anybody had done that uh, for an extinct animal. We have pretty much opened a window to the past. It was believed that all the genetic information was lost. But by our technology, we gain access to this information again, and we can not only find up about the genetic makeup of an extinct animal, but we can also study the populations that have lived. I think really what was the breakthrough in making this project happen was it was a collaborative effort that brought together two very complementary sets of skills between two faculty. Uh, we need each other because the range of skills that you need to do this well is really huge. Collaboration extends beyond campus boundaries as well. Dr. Michael Kenney, Assistant Professor of Political Science and Public Policy at Penn State Harrisburg, is collaborating with Dr. John Horgan of Penn State's International Center for the Study of Terrorism on a project for the Office of Naval Research. The study of terrorism by its very nature is multidisciplinary. Um, no one academic discipline can possibly have the monopoly over the study of terrorism. If you want to understand how terrorists think, adapt, learn and change, we have no choice but to go into the field and speak to people who have been involved in terrorism. This research seeks to paint a clearer picture of the adversary in order to better inform counterterrorism policy. Each one of us has expertise in a different yet overlapping area. I've always been a firm believer that if you want to do the best possible job, you have to bring together the best possible team. And I'm convinced that we've done that for this project.